Hello YouTube, it's DJ Gauge Trains and that's Bob the Cat doing what he does best, which was eating. So, but what I want to show you in this video is all of these Lionel, Lion Chief 060Ts. So, a couple of them are mine and the rest of them belong to other people. And I'm going to take you through them real quick. So, um, it's been a long time since I've done a video and I've been pretty busy with a project I'm going to show you at the end of this video. But for right now... I am going to take you through each one of these one by one. So this is the Brooklyn Eastern District Terminal 060T. And this is a very, very popular engine, a very good seller for Lionel. And this is RJ's uh, BEDT engine and um, RJ from RJ's Trains. And some of the detail enhancements I did to his is I painted all these uh, grab irons yellow. They were unpainted from the factory. So there, I also did the white wall wheel, uh, wheel rims for him. We got uh, custom cut and flush fitting windows. They're not just glued to the inside. The side windows are actually flush fit in there. And then we have an enhanced coal load back here plus windows. So these aren't flush fit. They're actually mounted inside. Uh, I had to do that in the back uh, just because of uh, the way the engine is uh, built. But um, and you can see this is a, a real rock coal load that um, I customized and glued down in there. So really nice. So this is unweathered. He wanted his to look like new, but just have uh, all these uh, little detail enhancements. And then we come to mine, and this is my BEDT 060 that I've weathered. And I have white wall, uh, the white walls on mine, but I weathered over it. I wanted it to have kind of like a dirty, oily look down here. And um, so you could see the white wall wheel rims through uh, the weathering a little bit. And then um, there's no rust. There's just a lot of dirt cover, and I wiped away the lettering. Um, if you look at some of the photos of this 060 switcher, you could see that the letters have been wiped away. So I did that uh, just to make the letters pop and to make it look more realistic. Flush fit windows, and same thing in enhanced coal load. This is the MTH Alco S2 switcher, uh, the BEDT one. And uh, I also weathered this one. And just like I do for all the MTH Alco S2s that come through uh, my collection, I detailed the cab interior because they give you this mold with all the gauges and details in there. So I had to just go in there and paint it. So really cool stuff. Really awesome sound set in here too uh, from Wright and Zach. So can't go wrong, really nice piece. And then we come to Maddie C's BEDT 060 here. And uh, this one is weathered a little bit stronger without the white wall wheel, wheel rims. And I did this based on a photograph. So really cool. There's the front, by the way. So I haven't showed you the front of any of these yet. Blurry. And then here's the other side. And he's got the flush fitting windows as well. And then we come over here. This is my second one. This is a Pensy. So, and this one's weathered a little bit differently than the others. Um, I weathered this based on an 060 tank uh, from the Pensy. Slightly different prototype um, than the real Pensy uh, 060, but still close enough and it looks really good. So, the Pensy engines typically had a lot more streaking than some of those, um, you know, local Brooklyn uh, engines over there. But, um, but you could see a lot of this uh, mineral runoff here and some more streaks on the uh, boiler front here over by the whistle and then over here a lot of uh, dirt and dust covering by the cab so and flush fitting windows that are unwiped they are not washed away which is something i've seen in a lot of pensy steamers i guess the guy just sticks his head out the window i don't know how he sees but um this is taken from an actual photograph and i tried to be as true to the photo as possible and here's the front of this engine. So there you go, that's a basic review. These are just off the weathering table uh, today, actually. Yesterday and today is when I did them, so they still need time to cure. They're not really ready to run yet. Um, I have been busy, I've been getting back to work, which is awesome, and I actually leave uh, to go do a show on Sunday. So I will not be able to run these just yet. As soon as I get back next weekend, I'll set up some track and I'll do a part two to this video series and I'll run these. And you'll get to see them all in action before I ship them back. So now what I want to show you real quick, if we come into this room, is the cat litter pan. No, just kidding. This room's kind of 
messy, but there used to be a wall over here and I knocked it down so that I could have a real train room in my garage. So, and there's an AC vent over there. So this is a climate controlled room. I get heat and AC in here and the vent works really well. And uh, this is my work table. This is going to be my new work table. And as you can see, I'm stripping the concrete down in this garage. I've done about half of it. I ran out of uh, vacuums for my shop vac. So they are on order because the hardware stores here don't stock this size. And uh, I'll be able to finish up as soon as those shop vac bags come in, hopefully in a few days. Uh, when I get back, I'll be able to finish it up. And I'm stripping the floor down in here. I've spackled the wall already. I'm going to repaint in here. The concrete is going to be sealed with a uh, really nice uh, acrylic sealer and I'll fix that big crack in it too. And um, so I'm going to have a really nice climate controlled train room in here and I will give you many more details on this uh, as we progress forward. But um, more videos to come. It's been a long time since I've done a video so I just wanted to show you guys what's been going on, what's up in my world. And uh, so those 06 OTs is uh, the latest project that I finished up and I'm back to work, which is awesome, at least for now. And, you know, things are moving along nicely. So I'm real happy about that. And pretty soon I will be working on a real train run, probably closer to 2022. Um, also, this box over here on top of the generator there, which I use for hurricanes if need be. This box over here is a Z4000 transformer. So I now have two Z4000s and uh, I will be able to do a nice layout in here with uh, multiple main lines. Real excited about that. So that's the update for now, guys. I am sorry it's been so long since I've done a video and uh, you know, the timing between my videos seems to be getting further and further. But as I work on that room and as I get things going, I will try to update you guys some more. Also, I will set up tracks so that I could run these. And um, after I run these and do that video, I will, uh, you know, run something else. If you have anything you'd like to see, drop me a comment. And uh, I've got a lot of trains. You've seen it all. If you want me to run something again, let me know. I'd be happy to take requests at what you guys want to see me run and maybe talk about the history of, uh, etc. So let me know and uh, I will make notes of it. If I get like four or five guys that want the same thing, I'll, obviously I'll do that model first. Um, if not, then it'll be owner's choice. So that's it for now, guys. Take care and I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to all of you soon. Bye-bye.